good evening, and welcome to Shay Show Real Talk in the Dark. That's right, in the dark. I had not been on in a while on both ends. Sometimes you just want to sit back and just chill. You know, I figure like this, if people like what you do or, you know, whatever it is, <clears throat> they're going to be there anyway <clears throat> because they know. When they come here, they going you know, they gonna hear some real shit. <clears throat> they are gonna hear some real shit, you know. And some people just want that, just to be real. Somebody to be real, you know. And it's hard finding people like that nowadays. It really is, because <clears throat> I'm gonna have my opinions on certain things. I re I really am, you know. And sometimes I'll just put things out there, you know. So maybe sometimes we can have a constructive you know, some constructive criticism about whatever it is we talk about, you know, and I see it in a lot of my, my videos, you know, people just going back and forth on certain things, getting conversation going, which is great, you know, but <clears throat> this one is going to be a little bit different because I put some fillers out there once before, you know, somebody really, really disagreed with me. I'm like, oh, wow, okay. Okay, well, maybe this is something I can talk about at some point. You know, we're still friends. That's, that don't make us not friends because you believe something and, and, and I believe something else. And that's part of the problem with people in general. I mean, if I respect what you believe, then why don't you just respect what I believe? Why should I force what I believe on you? Or why should you force what you believe on me? That don't make no sense. It doesn't. Now, I'm only talking about this because it seems to be a really hot button issue all over the country. And that's simply abortion. Well, this is just, I'm looking at this from a different way. So just, just hear me out. Just hear me out. You know, and you can disagree with all you want to and it's fine. I'm okay with that. But just hear me out and just see if I'm not making some type of sense. I'm just going to just put a different spin on it. So maybe you can understand what I'm saying. I don't understand why anybody, anybody, would think it's okay for a 10-year-old to have a fucking baby. A 10-year-old. 10. What, the third, fourth fucking grade? Why would anybody think that's fucking normal? Why would you even fight? For this kid to carry a, a baby to full term at 10. Oh, you don't know what you're doing to that, that kid, that child, just because you figure like, no, she got to have this. No, she shouldn't. She shouldn't because you ain't got to deal with that, that child's mental health at this point. You ain't got to deal with that. You ain't got to be burdened with, with the, the this kid and this 10-year-old, 11-year-old now is going to be a burden on the system. An overcrowded system on top of that. And that, it just constantly just rolls downhill from there. It, and that's, and then that's when you start creating slums. Neighborhoods ain't neighborhoods no more. They're the hood. And it's a hood for a reason. It's a hood for a reason. This is shit is all by design. I tell people this shit all the time. And I, and I hang my hat on this shit. This shit is fucking by design. This is a power struggle. This is this got to do with fucking money. And corruption. That's what this is all about. Because why would anybody think that fucking shit is normal? Why? I bet the people who sit here saying they know I don't believe in abortion. I get it. But are you going to take care of that 10 year old's uh, kid? No. But indirectly you will be. Think about this. Your taxes is going to go towards the people that you wanted to be here. The taxes that you fucking bitching about right now. Guess what? <laughs> They're over here now. Your tax money, your your hard tax dollars over here 
helping support this system that you fought for. Oh, listen, I can't make it no more fucking simpler than that. That, that that's that's just me. It's just a, it's an overburden. I don't think that should happen. You don't know, despite what somebody might say right now. Matter of fact, this is living fucking proof. You guys know the whole story here about the 11 year old. You heard me. 11 year old. And why this shit didn't make the news is just it's amazing to me. 11 year old. Pregnant. 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 It was Pookie's sister. She was only fucking 11. She got pregnant by Peanut. <clears throat> I did a video where we did some some uh, shit in the neighborhood for the kids. And when Pookie and them was really small, they would come down and I would name them. If you watch the video, I said, you're going to be Pookie, you're going to be Shaquaqua, you're going to be Peanut. They were little kids. Well, those little kids got a little bit years on them. And Pookie ended up getting her Pookie, uh, his sister pregnant at 11. Well, there's the burden right there. Now you got an 11-year-old that's pregnant. That's getting ready to have a baby at fucking 11. And already the family not doing that great as it is right now. Every Everybody going to be a burden on the fucking system. Now you just add one more fucking kid into the mix. One more kid into the mix. And Peanut, the one who... Uh, uh, impregnated her. He was only like fourteen. He was fourteen at the time. He was fourteen, and she was eleven. But guess what? Look what the system is doing. Peanut is in fucking prison right now. Right now, got twenty-one years. Got twenty-one years. Murder. Murder. Twenty-one years. Look at the burden of the system. Look what happened. Look what happened. And these and they still not doing that good right now. They are not doing good at all. Struggling. Everybody over there struggling. Everybody's struggling. And I get it. We all got to fucking struggle, but at some fucking point. If you see yourself struggling and in a situation, it just makes me wonder why people just can't like, well, I'm fucked up already. Why I want to keep fucking up? You see what kind of position you're in already. You don't have nothing now. And you're going to go ahead and create something new to put on top of you that you can't deal with what you're dealing with right now? On top of that? <laughs> oh, this is all common sense. This is all common sense. And the bad thing about this, I think that little girl now is, I think that little girl now got to be about six or seven years old right now, the baby. Pretty thing. And it's just, just sad to see that the young mother at 17 years old or whatever, you know, and got a seven year, a six or seven year old kid. That's crazy. That's crazy. That, that should never happen. I even told the mother, I talked to the mother one day where she's in my office and they came and I, and I seen that little girl's stomach bulging out. And I in my mind, I ain't trying to get too personal, but I'm kind of concerned. Y'all over here in my office, we talking. So I'm going to ask you a fucking question. I said, so I guess you're going to let her keep it. Because at that point she was showing. So it wasn't about aborting at that point. We are way past that shit. I mean, she had a lump. She had a watermelon. At 11 years old, that was the craziest shit. She said, she said, yeah, she's going to keep it. But I'm going to show her what she needs to do. So she had to learn. I'm going to be there for all that kind of stuff. Uh -uh. I help her. I help her from time to time, but that's that's on her. She got to make, she got to make it. And I said to myself, no, she just didn't say that. I just couldn't believe it when I heard and she was serious. I said, well, why would you want to fucking do that? I mean, 
don't you think that's going to be an overburden? I mean, over, uh, she's only like 12 years old. Give her to be 12 years old. You don't think that's going to be too much for a fucking 12-year-old to handle? The, to take that type of attitude? I mean, you're, you're, you're her mother. You know, she needs you now. She don't need that shit. She don't need that at all. She don't need confusion. She's only fucking 12. And get ready to drop a load. You know, that's a lot of burden on, on, on a 12-year-old. I can't even imagine. I mean, during the time when I was growing up in 11, 12 years old, I mean, that just wasn't a thing. You had never seen no shit like that at that time. Oh, if you looked under a girl's dress, you were doing good. I mean, I was so looking too. Uh, you know, because, you know, the, the mom sent them out there in a fucking little dress and shit. No, 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 get on. All right, Pukwisha, don't you get dirty. Now, I ain't going to get dirty. So I'm going to see Pookie across the street. Well, Pookie, you just finished playing with the boys in the, in the, in the mud pile and stuff. And there you are in a nice old pretty dress on. And everybody stop. Everybody stop. And waiting for you to bend over and pick up something. Oh, you have your jacks and stuff, and and when you do the jacks and, with the ball and stuff, and you got to keep bending, like, yeah. But that was <laughs> that was the stint of that shit. But it wasn't going no further than that, none. Mm -mm. But this shit out here now, oh my god, oh, I had never seen nothing like this. All I'm saying. If a, if a person is not equipped financially or in a bad situation to have a child, then they should abort. Don't don't be a burden on on you. The system is over overweight right now. That's that person's right. Don't take the right away for somebody to judge what to do with their body. I'm sorry. That's just my, that's my, and there's some women out here right now who just will disagree with me and just say, hey, I believe in life. Well, that's fine. I get it. But if you ain't part of this person's life and helping with this person's life, I mean, why, why should you fucking care what they do with their fucking body? That's their shit. That's their shit. That's their body. I don't want nobody telling me what I can't do with my body. I'm a man. I'm a man. And let me see, how can I do this? Hmm. I don't even know how to dress this way. But yeah, well, I'm a man, and I'm not going to have nobody tell me what I can do with my body or certain parts of my body. Why? This is my body. This is mine. And I had a right to decide what I want and don't want for my body. Nobody else has the right to tell me what I got to do with my shit. This is me. This is my shit. That car outside, that's my shit. Okay, nobody tell me what to do with that car. Man, I don't like the color of that car, man. You need to change the, the fuchsia. This is my car. I'm going to paint my car because you like fuchsia. It's the same thing. I'm sorry. That's what it is for me. So, I believe in a person's right to do whatever it is right for them. Why don't we just call it even? Just, just the person that's just doing what's right for them. Look at it that way. They're just doing what's right for them. Just leave the abortion part out of it. I know it's part of it, but just leave it out and just say that person's doing what's right for them. Because only they know their situation. Only they know what type of burden it's going to be on their family. Only they know that they got to help deal with this shit for another 18 years. And it's going to be some struggle within them 18 years. Only they know that. You don't know that. So I'm thinking like, respect whatever this person say they want to do. Because of all the burdens that they face. That you somehow seem to forget. What they burden. Like don't you got burdens in your life? Don't you have something going on in your life. That you think you really need to tend to? 
That's what I'm thinking. I mean, if you really want to know the truth about it, I figure like a lot of people right now should sweep around your own back door. You know what I mean? Just before you start sweeping around somebody else's shit, because you you got some issues going on in your life. I'm certain. I'm certain there's more pressing, important things in your life, in your current relationships, whatever it might be, than worry about the rights of some fucking body else. You got issues. Deal with your issues. Deal with whatever it is you need to deal with. Because you got a lot of shit going on. It's not a person right now who listening to me who ain't got some type of fucking problem going on or know somebody who's going through it. So all I'm saying is let's focus on that. Let's focus on, you know, you worried about what this woman gonna do with her body and your pookie out there with your sister. So you focusing on her own shit. There's some shit going on in your backyard that you're not paying attention to that you really need to. So all I'm saying is release that extra burden that really shouldn't be yours in the first place. Take it off take it off your shoulders, okay. It's okay. Take it off your shoulder. One less damn thing you got to fucking deal with. I figure we deal with enough shit already. And I'd be damned if I'm going to carry somebody else's fucking burdens on my fucking shoulder. I got enough problems. I got enough problems. I'm trying to fucking live every day. I'm trying to make certain I can live a certain way. I'm trying to make certain I can be comfortable. I'm trying to make certain I can just live my days out peacefully. Whatever days is left. I want to live them out peacefully. I don't want to fuck with nobody. I don't want nobody fucking with me. If you my friend, you my friend. Believe me. That's who I am. If I tell you you my fucking friend, you believe me, because I don't have a lot of fucking friends. If I tell you that, you better hang your hat on it. If I tell you my friend, you are my friend, no matter what. No matter what's going on. To the end. You have to just walk off on me. Before I can say I'm not your friend no more. And if I don't even see you no more. I will always say you as my friend. Because that's who I am. And sometimes it's hard for folks to understand who you are. You know. You can come across one way. And everybody can understand you. They seem to think they can understand you. And then. And then when you hit a person with the realness. It's just like you wonder like. Were they really listening to me? You know, because I am who I am. My life has been like one open book on the internet for 13 years. I ain't held shit back. I show all my heartache and all my pain. You know, all my good times, my bad times, the funny times. I mean, everything was captured on video. And what none of this shit planned. None of this shit was uh, scripted, nothing, and it just ended up being something. So, a person should be able to know who I am based on what they've been seeing for 13 years. So, if you say you know me, make sure you really know me. Because it's a lot to say you know somebody. Nobody ever fucking knows everybody. They just know what they think they see. Or what they see. And they will interpret what they see to fit whatever it is fits them. Instead of saying that that's who he is. You see, you can't mix this up with me. You, you, I just If the soup is already formed already, you can't take it and turn it into to something else. A new soup. No. This is the soup. I am the soup through and through. And you have to pay real close fucking attention to me. Because if you don't, you'll get lost. If you don't, you'll get lost quick. I'm a person that have no time for no no games. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm too old for that shit. 63 years old. And I'm not saying I'm an old man and just... Waiting for the nursing home and Shady Hills and all that shit. I mean, but that's the direction. That's the natural order of things. That's how things are supposed to work. 
You're supposed to be able to get through life and have your ups, your downs, your good times, your bad times, and, and grow old gracefully at the same time without no bullshit. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to live my shit out gracefully. And whatever happens just fucking happens. That's who I am. I'm really very spontaneous. I mean, very spontaneous. I mean, you'll never know with me. You'll never know. And it could be good. It could be all good. But you'll never know. There's no time limit on what I do. What I'm trying to do. Or even if I'm fucking even trying to do it. There's no time limit. The way it works is just, it's, this is it. That's how it works for me. This is it. I, I know. You know. But right now, you know, I'm still finding myself and, and you know, and I have moved on. And I, I really have. But I'm just still taking time out to still learn me. And with that being said, somebody who, gonna, who, who have an interest in me got to know that I'm me. You know, and I can't be nothing else but me. I can't change. I, I'm not going to change. And I wouldn't want nobody to fucking change for me. You know, because if it's something that you believe in and who you are, then you stand on it. You stand on it. I believe that. You know, so but when, when things is right, we all know. We all know. It's just about just doing a better job. And that's everybody. That's everybody. Just gotta just do a better job and start learning how to love you. A lot of you forgot how to fucking love you. If you learn how to love you and love you first now, you know, you're not gonna really be able to love nobody else. Find the love within you, you know. See who you are as a person, what you have to offer. Look in that mirror and say, I am beautiful. You know, I know what I want. There's nothing wrong with that. But when it comes down to what I was saying, see, I thought I got off on track. I didn't. I just was trying to go somewhere else. It's that person's choice. I'm not saying a woman's choice. I'm, I'm saying that person, meaning everybody. Everybody have a right to decide what they want to do with their body. And nobody else just had nothing to fucking say about it. So, that, I'm shutting it down right now. Nobody has the right to decide what somebody should do with their body or their shit. You own the house, it's your house. Somebody can't come in and tell you to change shit around in your house. Or, or spray your car a different color because they don't like it. That's your shit. And you had a right to decide what you want to do. That's your shit. The only difference here is you're talking about something material. Over there, we're talking about a life. Good night.